So first thing you're going to want to do is switch your paper to landscape. And since we're going to go to borders and shading, um, and choose a page border that is kind of Halloweenish, such as bats. Bats are very Halloweenish. And then kind of make them smaller because you don't want them to take up the whole page. Uh, next thing you're going to do is make a main title. Um, best that's best done with uh, word art because it's big and flashy. You're going to change the text wrapping to tight so it's easier to move around, and then just resize it to fit the page. Next, you're going to want to insert a text box for such thing as such things as like you know the details, the date, time, where it's going to take place. Uh, resize the text to big enough so that it's readable. And then you can move it around once the text wrapping is tight. Um, and change the color. I, or the uh, font type. You can uh, look at them and live action preview by just hovering your mouse over the selection. Um, you can just sort of see what it's going to be before actually selecting it. I chose Chiller because it's a very creepy font. Um, and now I'm just sort of resizing it. And that yellow diamond can be used to change the like effect of whatever it is you're using. Like the edges of the brackets. Um, but this part kind of angered me like a lot. Uh, because... Uh, for some reason it wouldn't work properly when I was trying to redo it, so I just sort of uh, gave gave up and just sort of dealt with it when it, after like right there. Um, just moving around a little more, and then I decided to change it because blue is not a very Halloween color, so changed it to red, and then the font. It's maybe a creepy font, but it's in brownish, so that's not very creepy, so I changed it to red. Um, and then, you're going to need a place to go, so I inserted another uh, text box, but I used a different kind of text box, because I wanted to show the different kinds and what they would look like with certain settings. Here I'm just putting in an address. It's not a real address, so don't bother harassing anyone who lives there because there isn't anyone who lives there because it doesn't actually exist. Now I'm looking at other kinds of uh, effects for the outside. I just I went with a dotted line for this one. I thought it just would get a little diversity. You can see in the recently used fonts. Uh, you can find the ones that you have obviously recently used so that you don't have to like go back and dig through that really long list of fonts to find the one if you've already used it. Then I decided I didn't like the dotted line so I went with uh, the regular uh, red line. Now, uh, I got out another text box, and this one's just a regular square, and, uh, I wanted to get kind of a description of what's going to happen at this Halloween party. And then I had to get my settings back in there and just sort of think in what I want and then I start typing it in. This kind of takes a while.
Now that I finally finished typing what I want, I'm just gonna resize it so you can read it. Again, using the live action preview before I select. And I didn't like how it was all kind of stacked on one side, so I changed the alignment to center. Now there's a bunch of empty space, and I don't really have anything else to put for basic knowledge. So I look for some clip art, and I find some stuff. It's not really what I want, because uh, it's not cr very creepy, and I notice that I can't move this pumpkin because it's not tight, doesn't have tight text wrapping. So I just start searching for other stuff to see what I can find. Nothing's really coming up. Kind of frustrating when this sort of thing happens. And then, since it don't really doesn't seem like I have really have another option, I just choose that mask thing and put that in. And then something kind of occurs to me. You know, I look and I notice that in the search in it just says selected collection, so I select everywhere all collections and research research Halloween, and I find some stuff. And I do prefer it, so I just immediately delete that one. I'm just sort of looking for some creepy stuff, and I do find some, such as this mummy. Um, clip art has a lot of options if you know where to look. If you ever look through clip art of through uh, Word 2007. Uh, and you only get a couple, make sure uh, you have the right collections selected because it, it's not likely that you'll only come up with two or three. That's very unusual. Now I'm just looking for my last one. And I noticed this Happy Halloween, but it's it's not my favorite. And I remember seeing one up towards the top, so now I'm looking there, and I find it, and I put it in there, and it looks kind of weird, change the text wrapping, and move it, and voila, you have just made your very own Halloween party flyer, ready to hang up wherever you wish.